We're back, everyone. Uh, sorry. Um, very pretty important conversation. Had to cut it. Didn't wanna, didn't wanna waste any more time sitting in silence in the game. Actually, I have a new plan. Let's try this. Thank you, Fox. Promise, I did not look at a guide. I was just, I was standing there, and the camera was pointing this way, and I noticed one of the little statues was right over there. I was like, maybe, maybe it has something to do with that. Oh, look at this. Here, it'll activate all of them. <laughs> That's amazing. See, I promise. I promise. Now, oh man, now it's, now it's gonna look super suspicious. I, I didn't look up at a guide. I promise. The puzzles are the puzzles are not extremely. Oh, an egg. Oh no! Damn it! Come bite me in the ass later. Some ethereal being is gonna be like, You killed an egg! I can't turn the camera? Oh. You wanted me to look over there. There's a- there's an hourglass that way. What does the hourglass do? Game uh, is trying its hardest to run at 60 frames. It's a, which I, I appreciate, you know. But that means that that means that it's a uh, it'll cut down to 20. So it's a, it's a give and take on these types of things. Unlock frame rate is nice, but <clears throat> but you can only oh 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 and now I have the now I have the ball up where it should be I think. Go up some more, I guess. Yeah, no, sorry about that. I I, I, I cut the stream just because I, I don't want these videos to get too long and the only... Well, I guess I could highlight it on Twitch so that when I upload it to YouTube, it'll be, like, more... Um, it, it won't... It won't be as awkward silences and stuff like that. Like, I won't have, like, the weird cuts and stuff like that. But, um... Yeah, my, my friend got food poisoning. <laughs> and I remember, um, so I have this, I have this demon combination of food, and I don't know why, but I had it twice, which is why I can confirm it's, like, awful and it'll kill your insides. If you want to feed something to your enemies, feed them this. Um, I had, I don't know why, but I was eating Doritos, uh, nacho cheese Doritos at one point, and I was like, I want a drink, but I don't want water, and I didn't have any soda near me. So guess what the fuck I did? I went and grabbed uh, a Starbucks Frappuccino, which I'm pretty sure was expired. But I don't think that that's the reason why it killed my insides. I think it was just a combination of the nacho cheese with the coffee. You know, and I'm also lactose intolerant. You know, there's a lot of different factors here. But the point is, um, that combination of Starbucks coffee and Doritos killed me. I couldn't eat anything for the rest of that day. I spent the rest of that night on the toilet. So, I thought, maybe it's just that one time, maybe the Starbucks is just expired, I don't know. Then, for whatever reason, I had it again. <clears throat> I, uh, I, I ate Doritos with, with Starbucks Frappuccino for, for, I don't know, for, I don't know what reason. But I had it again, and then I had, um, so I was already dying on the inside, but I didn't feel it until I ate um, food later that day. 
but the only food was this um ugh, it's not a steak it's like it's like grilled grilled chicken All I, all I had to eat was uh, grilled chicken, and um, the grilled chicken was uh, expired. <laughs> it's kind of bogus how it just crushes under your feet when you do it. Um, yeah, I didn't know that the grilled chicken was expired until after I ate it. So, so I was getting like a double whammy of. Uh, I was getting a double whammy of the 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 Doritos and the Starbucks plus the expired meat. The only thing that would have made it worse for me was if I had the sugarless Haribos. Oh my god, um, I want one of those. I was a, I was with my friend Aaron. We went to we went to a, a local shop called the World Market, and we we were we found a bunch of Haribos, and I was like, I want. I want the sugarless Haribos, and Aaron was like, why? And I was like, uh, because I heard that it gives you, like, massive, massive stomach problems. And she's like, why would you, why would you want that? And I go, just, just for fun, just to experience it. I said, actually, I guess there's actually a breath meter. I wanted to go down there and see some secrets. See, I, I like games that the purpose of it is to get screenshots. <laughs> I, uh, I enjoy it. Is there something down there? Oh, dang it. Oh, wait. The other key's right there. How do I shrink that? I need to look at a thing. I wonder if putting this in will open up a pathway. No. Okay, well I know where the other key is. It's right fucking there. Find a way to make that small, I guess. Hmm. I would assume I, I would need to look at it from a... Uh, an opposite angle. Because I'm pretty sure that's where it came from, where the key actually is. So maybe I shouldn't go there. But this is where the... This is where it came from. Sorry, when I say like, this is where I came from, I mean this is when I... En that's where I entered the area. Oh. Is that it up there? I have to go back up, maybe. I'm pretty sure this is I'm pretty sure this is the area that I came from like uh, when I first entered this little arena I think I do have to go back oh oh this is new yeah get it Look, literally spells it out for you Bore. Oh, I thought it was like that African death bush. Oh wow, it's so he's so weak.
Oh, Jesus. Okay, that'll, that'll just stay there, I assume. We just forgot to light the torches. Then where did I- where did I come from? Is this game playing with like impossible space and shit? Because I'm all for it. I've always wanted to play a- I wanted to play more horror games, but unfortunately there hasn't been really one that's been scary. Recently. I was talking to my- I was talking to my friend Grace and uh, she loves horror games like that. Like, not horror games, she loves like horror movies. Oh, let's drop it. I okay, only have one, but I need one over there. Oh, god damn it. Oh, where'd it go? <laughs> Oh, but if I... Oh, but I can't. Oh, now I see. The puzzle. So put this down. Oh, God, he's having so much trouble. this up here because can't throw that high because I'm a s weak scrawny little boy see I feel like um I feel like Abzu was a weird journey fan game but didn't really do its job properly and I assume that third... I assume this third one will make it so that it's, uh... <clears throat> make the pedestal go down. Yeah, that's what I thought. This, I feel like, does the journey thing properly, and it adds its own mechanic, but it's just the aesthetics of it. Cool, and now I need this one back in the center. It's a good puzzle. I like it. That's funny. <laughs> Oh, I came in through a- I came in through the doorway. I didn't even realize. I thought I came down a set of stairs. I 
I like I like this game. I like the way it looks. And so far that's all it needs to be. I wonder if I could have gotten both keys before I put that one in. Hmm. I guess there would look because the way that it, it's positioned on my belt implies that I could because earlier it looked like I could I only had space for the one key, but I feel like I could have them both like either right on top of each other or like right next to each other. I bet that's me from the future. We both got the same red cloak thing going on. God, I'm hungry. I have chicken in the fridge. Story of a, a sad, a sad prince. It turned white as soon as I walked up to it. That's me on the left. Sorry, on the right. Am I going to meet my prince? And just so. I've been dreaming of- I don't know the rest of the words. I always remember the part where he got cut off, that's why. The Shadow of the Colossus. I gotta play that game. That game's not that- Um... It's- it's cool that they release it for 40 bucks. I love these, um... It's- it's- it's the same thing they did with uh, Ratchet and Clank and Crash Bandicoot, where it's like... Remakes of old games, or reimagining of- of old games for 40 bucks. Cause they know they're not gonna sell to you for like the full title. As good as these games were. You know, and I'm kind of sad that Ratchet and Clank got the reimagining treatment instead of just the remake because, as a result, the story of it changed because they were trying so hard to tie it into a movie. Um, and it would have sold well if they had just kept the original story, but they were trying so hard to focus group it that they ruined Ratchet's character. And I hope that they didn't just kill the series but because I love, I love Ratchet and Clank. Out of the PS2 heroes, Ratchet and Clank is my favorite. Um, not because I played more games, I actually didn't play... I don't know. I mean, I played like one or two of the Ratchet and Clank games. I didn't play a lot, but um... I always just thought Ratchet and Clank were uh, cooler than uh... Than Jack and Baxter or Sly Cooper. But you see, they're trying to do the same thing with Sly Cooper. Which I hope is just a, re a remake of the first game. Because I hope they learn their lesson. But I hope Ratchet and Clank isn't dead. Let's look that up right now. Hold on. Is... Oh god, the phone's frozen. Anyway. <laughs> that's not a gag wor worth waiting for. Is Ratchet and Clank dead? Dang it, I keep getting results of Ratchet and Clank deadlocked. I hope, I hope Ratchet and Clank continues. Insomniac doesn't seem like they're doing anything with the Ratchet and Clank series at this point, but it's always a series that they always tend to come back to when they feel like it. I just wish, I just wish the oh god, I died. I, I wish the, I wish the remake of it like. Um, someone pointed. Oh, look, this is the first area that I was at. Um. Someone, someone made the point that um. Ratchet and Clank is supposed to be a buddy cop, type thing, and that's its point. And the fact that they tried so hard to make Ratchet into this wide-eyed dreamer kind of ruins the um, the dynamic. Kind of messes up the dynamic of um, of them being like um, buddies with each other. Like, cause like Ratchet is supposed to be the hot-headed, uh, 
let's go fight the bad guy type person but um did i fall through the wall um but but clank is more of the cerebral like oh, let's let's take a look at this let's do this the right way let's let's save the people but ratchet is really just in it for himself like the only reason why he helps that clank is because he wants to get off the planet you know I can only push it one way, I guess. Oh! <gasps> That's awesome. Wait. What does that look like? It just fades in. Oh, wait, what? Maybe now. What is this? Oh, it's is it because this the moon? Oh, but I needed to I needed to face this way. Somewhere beyond the sea. Hmm. Really, yeah. Hmm. So let's think about this a little bit. Because that's what it's doing. Oh, maybe yell at it? He's not singing anymore. Oh, wait. God damn it. Can I still play around with this? I can! Oh, and I can move the camera freely. Please, I love it when it's nighttime. <laughs> That's cool that they let you play around with it. It feels almost like a an Unreal test engine. This game, this game, this this engine is so versatile. This is a game that Kingdom Hearts 3 is running on, which, uh, segue, those, that Monsters Inc. trailer came out, which confirms a lot of the leaks, um, considering that, oh yeah, those, those screenshots were real, and it came with a document of, like, the leak worlds. Um, kind of disappointed that, um, that Frozen is on there, because I don't care about Frozen. It's one of those things where it's like, Okay, if they're gonna come up with an original story, fine. But otherwise, it's like, why, why include Frozen? There's nothing in that world, and I'm and I'm kind of scared that it's just gonna be another um, retell of the story, which is what the problem was with the Kingdom Hearts 2 games. I wonder why there's a duck button. I haven't used that yet. Um, like, be, be, like so in Kingdom Hearts One, um, Sora and company were like always there before the movie started. In Kingdom Hearts 2, they were there in the middle of it. So I assume Kingdom Hearts 3, um, they're gonna be there, like, after. 
Just just as a, from a thematic point of view, I assume that's where we're going, considering the fact that also um, the the Toy Story world takes place after Toy Story two, but before Toy Story three. You know, so maybe it's like after the movies type thing. So maybe maybe it'll take place um, between Frozen one and Frozen two because hey, there's a sequel coming out for this movie that no one asked for except for the little pe little kids. I almost said people. Um, except for the little kids that wanted it. Which I don't even know if they want anymore. Because... <laughs> they, they, they put that 21 minute Frozen short before Coco and everyone hated it so much that they got rid of it. I never actually got to see Coco, but um... Didn't have the time. Also, no, everyone that I knew saw it before me, so I was like, I don't want to see it by myself. <laughs> What's down here? Why is it? What's the point of this area down here? Can I climb on this moon thing? That's my question. Cannot. The answer is no. I assume there's something back here. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. I guess there's nothing. Just, uh... Just here for the... Just here for the... Um, Shandification of it. It's not true, that's what shandification is. Oh, great. Um, shandification for those unaware. It's a pretty... It's not a It's not a proper term. It's just something I heard about. I heard it on the Super Best Friend cast, because uh, I listened to those guys. Uh, but they talked about a video that got posted on YouTube about Fallout New Vegas and how well shandified that world is. And shand shandification is a term in reference to, I think his name's Thomas Shandy or whatever, but he wrote a book. The book's not that great, but because the book is so all over the place, it's well realized, and when it does get to the plot, you understand why things are the way they are. Like, it's not just, why don't they just do this thing? Like, there's explanations for everything. And in the video, he goes on to, um, New Vegas is Shandified based on one simple question, which is, what do they eat? And he compares it to Fallout 3, where, is this fucking Dark Souls giant throne? Um, he compares it to Fallout 3 in the sense that the first town you go to is Megaton, which is in front of a bomb. Oh my god, there's a galaxy back here. Um, there's a... The very first place you go to in, in Fallout 3 is a town called Megaton, which is built around a, a deactivated bomb. And, um, but, but there's no, like, crops or, or, like, food places to go to nearby that would, that would, um, make sense. Like, the only, the closest food supply they have is, like, they don't have any farms or anything. They had, uh, they had, like, a supermarket, which is already being taken over by enemies. You know, it's just a very video game thing to do. Whereas in New Vegas, the very first place you go to is a small farmland. You know, you go to the Las Vegas Strip, and there's um, there's uh, farms and crops all over the place. You know, so it's so it makes sense. These people have basically it's explaining that this game world exists outside of your player character interacting with it, um, which is the thing is the point. All that to say that this game had a little area where you didn't have to go to. Just for the point, just for the sake of this area exists. Ah! I wish I was that strong. Oh. Can't go through here? There's an. Oh, I was gonna say. What is this? Looks like a little shelter. Which means that other one might be a dead end, too. So let's go back. <clears throat> I thought it was I thought that was progression, but you know what that makes sense. A game like this isn't really you know, I mean they, they value exploration, but not to the point where they they would build an entire area just for just for nothing. Oh, there is something in here. Ah! Looks like a shelter. Maybe a big storm came by and they were using this as a 
shelter. I love blue flame, by the way. It reminds me of Uncharted. That's why. That's why I was like, I'm getting... Because the blue flame everywhere reminds me of Uncharted 2. Which is, uh, one of my favorites in the series. I really like... I like Uncharted 2 overall. I like Uncharted 4 mechanically. And also, um... Just from a, just from a nostalgia standpoint, like, I appreciate Uncharted 4 for existing, um, as a way to close out that series. I feel like Uncharted 3 did not need to happen, but, um, I feel like they were trying something with Uncharted 3, but it just didn't pan out. I feel like they wanted to end it with Uncharted 3, but... Because, because there's lots of little bits in Uncharted 3 where it's like, it's just the end of the game. You know, it's just the end of the series. And then they and then they cut all the tension and they go, Nope, that was a hallucination or whatever. So I, I would say as far as a true ending goes, you could you could skip Uncharted 3 altogether. There's nothing that that game adds. Like it like Uncharted 4 even deals with the same like questions that Uncharted 3 does, which is um um who is Nathan Drake really? You know? And they're making that Uncharted movie, and I feel like they would do a great job of introducing certain characters before, like, you know, introduce certain characters beforehand, just so that we, you know, they don't come to the- that, that was the one complaint that I had about Un Uncharted uh, 4, which is, um, they introduce a new character that we don't know about, which is, a uh, Sam Drake. He's in the- he's in the ads everywhere. He's, a uh, he's fucking- he's Troy Baker. That looks like regression to me, so I'm gonna go back. Um, <clears throat> and and they do they try to do go through the backstory and stuff like that, and the reason why Drake never talks about him, blah blah blah. Fine, but it would have been better if we had known about Sam, or at least he mentioned he had a brother, or at least like in passing, like yeah, my brother. And then Elena would have been like your brother. He's like yeah, but he's not mentioned at all until this game, so. Is there anything back here? Is it just- is it literally just a pathway? No. See, I missed one. Ha! Try to trick me. I can't go through. I can't go through. I assume this just takes me back. Oh no. My god. How big is this building? I thought I made a full circle. Oh, it's just the other- maybe this building's a lot bigger than I thought. Yep, and here's the- here's the other side of that. Okay. Well, I might as well go through here, I guess it's faster. But yeah, um... Also, I love that Uncharted, the one thing I will give Uncharted 4 credit, if anything, is Sony, or Naughty Dog, or whoever finally decided, let's have some, let's have some merchandise for this video game. And I finally got an action figure of Nathan Drake, and it's, it's by NECA, and it's part of their Ultimate Figures line, and it is done so well. If you are a fan of Uncharted, um, if you really like Uncharted, n buy it. Like, like, there's a reissue that just came out, I think? And honestly, I think this is the first area. Okay, yeah, this just made me go back all the way around. Well, you'll never know if you don't go around, right? Um, but yeah, the the NECA figure uh, is it's re it's relatively cheap because it's it's uh, made and sold only here in America. Um, or sorry, well, I mean, there's I'm, I'm sure there's like a I think big, big bad toy store. You can- they sell internationally, but probably for like an extremely high price. Probably the same way like Figmas are in Japan. But anyway, I digress. Um, the NECA figures are- are relatively cheap. You know, for- for- for a collect- for a fan, you know, that doesn't want to spend like a million dollars on something. They had that Nendoroid Nathan Drake figure, which my sister bought. It was like 50 bucks, and it's like, doesn't even look like Nathan Drake. Um. But yeah, it's it's fully articulated. Looks 
looks like it doesn't even look like Nathan Drake from the game because Nathan Drake in the game looks a little bit older. So it just looks like regular Nathan Drake wearing his Uncharted 4 outfit. So it's just a straight up Nathan Drake figure and in they did some cool things with the articulation to hide it. Like his shirt is like this um it's this rubber material so that it looks so it hides the articulation but doesn't hinder it. It's it's great. I love I love action figures, so I love I love that more toys are are doing that thing with uh, he's scratching his ass really, um, I love that more toys are are utilizing like the soft plastic. I wonder if that stays on. He's singing now. I have to light all of these, I bet. You know, I haven't gotten a single trophy in this game, which I appreciate. What other game? The one game that I that it has done that, and it's the only credit I'll give that game is Heavy Rain, is that it would wait until the end of the chapter to give you all your shit. Which is, I mean, uh, if you're doing something specific in the middle of the chapter that you have to get, kind of sucks. But playing it through the first time around, I imagine. Oh god damn it! Kind of helps with the experience in the sense that. Um, you're not being, you're not being, th um, your immersion, immersion isn't being, like, uh, compromised because a trophy will pop up. You're, like, you're, like, you're just playing the game, and then once you're done, you'll get a trophy. Maybe you won't. You'll find out when you're done. And I, and I, uh, admire that, and more games should, more game, more, at least more story-driven games should do that. Like, a game like that I, makes sense. Um, Telltale kind of does the same thing in the sense that, um, well, the, the only trophies they have is for chapter completion, so I guess, I guess theirs is just spaced, um, in a way that, um, it kind of avoids that problem entirely. So, I guess the Telltale games do that, in a sense, but, um, and you know what, the fact that there's not any spe chapter specific trophies to get, <laughs> kind of, kind of tells me that they, they do it better. Than heavy rain did. I wonder if you do have to light all these up, but I'm going to anyway, just to just to do it. It is excruciatingly hard to see. I'm sure if I watch this later at night, it'll it'll look marginally better. I don't think the improvement will be that bad that um drastic but i will say that it i'm sure there will be an improvement and look i'm i'm pretty sure i'm done oh fuck me there's more i must have missed a couple but that's fine i'm already up here i think Watch, I had to look for the route up the whole time. <laughs> and I was over here faffing around. Trying to, trying to ball this shit. There's one that I missed right there. What if I did have to light all these up? And I just went about it like a weird route. Nope, here I am. Now let's take a look. See, room is considerably brighter. Also, the guy is gone. The guy is just completely gone now. Okay. Leap of faith. Kind of scared he might die if I do that, though, so I'm not gonna. 
Maybe this game is not that long, actually. This looks like about the end of the game, actually. Oh, wait. That's not a shade we haven't seen yet. Oh, this is a tower bit from Journey. <laughs> this is where I find out what my true purpose actually is. They re it, it, it's gonna recount my tale as far as up to here. And then, uh, and then it'll tell me what my future will be. I guess I'm wearing any clothes. He kind of just showed up. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if he was there in the beginning the whole time, and I just never saw him. A whirlpool. That's death. I'm not even gonna try. I already know that's death. Considering that it doesn't even let me hit the- there's no, like, death animation. Ha! I mentioned the Uncharted movie a little bit earlier, and, uh... Gotta say, a little, a little bit- I mean, I'm nervous, but I'm also a little bit excited. Cause, uh, I love- I, I unironically love Uncharted, as far as, like, a narrative game goes. I mean, like, mechanically, it's not the most, um... Oh, can I light these ones up? Ha! Oh, god damn it. Um, mechanically, it's not the most, um, amazing game in the world. Ha! These things are already so bright, though. Oh, now they're turning blue because of how, how lit up they are. Um, but, uh, I, I like them from a story perspective, and I feel like they do have the potential to be, like, a very good movie franchise, oh, so long as they do it right. If they do it right, they could have two movies per per game because you're gonna have to, you know. Maybe maybe the first one not so much. Maybe the first one you just need the one movie, right? But definitely like Uncharted Two can be a two-parter, you know. End it at the bit where um, end it at the bit where it starts, because the game is like half a flashback. Like it's like how did I how did Nathan Drake end up? Bleeding on a train falling off a cliff. That's the very first part of the game um, Oh man the camera's shaking But maybe maybe recount the tail all the way up to there And that'll be the big cliffhanger Because I feel like a game like that you're gonna have to tell a bunch of aspects of it because a, a game can last like like eight to a game like Uncharted can last 8 to like 12 hours. And you can't have people sitting in a theater for 8 to 12 hours. But you can have them set through two movies for 2 hours each. Don't say no. That was a trophy that just popped up. I assume I'm at the end. I'm Kid Icarus. Whoa. Can I turn the camera? I can't. God damn it. Look, it's a red cloak on a thing. Very journey. Follow it. Oh, it's a boat. Holy shit, I love this. Yes. To the boat, boy. To the boat you go. 
sail. Oh god damn it, no. The storm's moving in, Captain. That's like, thank you for playing rhyme. <laughs> Did I get the bad ending? Or maybe, oh, hopefully that's chapter one. If not, fine. I'll work through multiple endings. I might not stream it, but maybe that's just chapter one. It's loading. The game's loading something. Loading screen. See, like, like these, these things. Like, all we get now is like a spinning icon in the corner. These gritty ass games. Don't get like cool loading screens like these no more. Hmm. Maybe that was chapter one. Oh my God! Look, it's those things from uh, from Spirited Away. <laughs> I guess I never noticed, but I really am just wearing that same outfit that he was wearing in the beginning. I just didn't lo I just lost my cloak. I don't know why, but I thought I was wearing a, a red shirt the whole time. Hang on. That's neat. That's scary. All right, we'll cut. We'll cut here, and I'll come back. I'm gonna. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go eat. <laughs> cut the tension right here. See, Uncharted Part One. This is where it should end. Oh, and I hear my fox friend, so we'll cut here. Um, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next part.